The mission to free a kidnapped American nurse and her child is underway in Haiti. Christian aid worker Alex Dorsonvale and her young daughter were taken Thursday from the campus of Elroy, Haiti. The faith-based aid group founded and run by Alex's husband. She helps operate a children's clinic run by the organization. Elroy Haiti is working with what they call partners and trusted relationships to bring the nurse and her daughter back. The kidnappings come, uh, come as gang violence surges in Haiti. More than 165,000 Haitians have fled their home because of it. Rival gangs are thought to control about 80 percent of the capital, Port-au-Prince. And for more on this, we're joined by Dr. David Vanderpool, CEO of Live Beyond, a faith-based medical aid organization working in Haiti. David, welcome. It's great to have you with us. Um, I'd like to start just by getting your reaction and, and what it's like being in Haiti right now. Do you worry that something like this could happen at your organization? Oh, absolutely. And this is just a terrible event. Just kidnapping of a young mother and a child is just unspeakably horrible. And we need to pray for her release, for both of their release uh, unharmed and quickly. It's uh, it's just a terrible issue. Uh, Live Beyond has been in Haiti since 2010, and we've had two of our team members kidnapped and held, uh, tortured for four days, and uh, then released uh, back in uh, 2018, and uh, another team member murdered uh, on our doorstep. So we're very familiar uh, with the violence in Haiti. My wife has been attacked uh, brutally. And so this is the kind of thing that uh, people need to be aware of if they're going down there on mission teams. It's an extremely violent place. Yeah, extremely dangerous. Um, let's talk about your organization, Live Beyond. You were a successful surgeon in Tennessee who gave up everything, sold everything to move to Haiti and serve the poorest of the poor with your wife. Tell us about the work that you all do. Well, we've uh, built a surgical hospital uh, and we provide surgical and obstetric services for our area. We have about 200,000 people in our area. Uh, we have a large maternal health program, 1,500 women in this program, and then a large child feeding program. We feed about 8,000 children a day uh, in our facility, as well as a church and a school. Uh, and so it's a, it's a fairly well-rounded uh, organization uh, we have a large base. Uh, we're just east of Port-au-Prince, about 20 miles uh, in a pretty rural area. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned um, some of the kidnappings you've all experienced, a death um, within your organization. I'm just wondering, you know, is there ever a point where you where you consider, you know, is this worth it? And have you ever thought about just packing up and, and leaving Haiti? Only every day. Uh, no, no more than that. Uh, you know, it is a very difficult place to work. Uh, especially if you're there for a long time. We've been there 13 years, and it's extremely difficult. And so it's easy to get discouraged. Uh, you have to really be committed to this kind of work to live there long term. And I'm sure uh, this uh, wonderful lady who's been kidnapped uh, is one of those very committed people. Uh, and she probably understands the, the violence as well. Since the government has collapsed in Haiti, uh, there's really no active police force, and so gangs have taken over. Uh, really no, nothing to do about this. There's no recourse of action uh, if one is kidnapped or somebody is attacked. And so it's a very challenging place to work. Absolutely. Uh, you know, with the few, the few seconds that we have left, um, how can our audience and, and people out there be praying for you, your organization, and the people of Haiti? You know, the people of Haiti really need our prayers. Uh, the people down there trying to help uh, as well. Uh, praying is the best thing to do. Another thing to do is just not go to Haiti. Uh, this Haiti is a level four do not travel country uh, as by the U.S. State Department travel advisory. And that, those countries are very, very dangerous. The other countries on that list are North Korea, Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, yeah. Sudan. So it's just extremely violent. So going down on a short-term mission is should be yeah. completely out of the question. All right, David Vanderpool, CEO of Live Beyond in Haiti. Uh, we appreciate your, your time and for being there, putting your life at risk um, to serve the people of Haiti. Thank you so much. Absolutely.